I wanted to be. All right? Because I was a chemistry major and I knew page 161. Called the activity series. I thought I turned this joker on. Here we go. Oh, oh, what's going on here? Have I just really zoomed in too far? Oh, yeah. There, there's a table I'm looking at. Okay. This is what's called an activity series. The most active metal is the thing that's setting on top. Now, one of the telltale signs that something is a single replacement reaction is there is a bare metal. Do you see that? Bare metal. Bare metal. Bare metal. Bare metal. That means it ain't bonded with something else. This ain't gold nitrate. This ain't magnesium sulfate. This is not aluminum borate. It is pure aluminum AL period. All right? When that happens, you're always going to have two metals, right? What are your two metals? Aluminum is a metal. What is the metal behaving species here? Hydrogen. Metal, 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 metal. Is there anybody confused about how to find the metals? The thing by itself must be on top for the reaction to run. And I suppose to put a little sexual in the window there to help you remember it, the bare naked metal must be on top. The naked metal must be on top. Here's hydrogen. Here's aluminum. Which one's on top? It will work. Magnesium and hydrogen. There's a hydrogen, there's magnesium. Which one's on top? Here's calcium and hydrogen. There's hydrogen, there's calcium. Which one's on top? Here's copper and HCl. Which one's on top? That ain't going to work. Well, what about if I take gold and put that in hydrochloric acid? Is that going to work? No. Nope. No reaction. Right. By the way, this is one of the ways they used to purify gold. Right? I don't nobody get drunk and take their gold wedding ring and do this, right? Because if you did that, that'd be problems. Because is your gold wedding ring pure gold? There ain't no way, right? And I know you guys may or may not have seen pure gold. I have no clue. But when we buy it in a chemistry lab, it comes in a sheet. And I mean, you can take your fingers, pure gold, and just pull it apart. I mean, really. It'll rip on you. And you can just take it and just rip it like that. It's very, very soft metal. If you drop that in acid, nothing would happen. If you drop your wedding ring in acid, it's been reinforced with other metals. It'll pit it. In other words, it will, you'll have the purest form of gold in your hands, but your wedding ring would look like hell because all the other metals would eat it away. If there's any... Nickel, if there's any aluminum, if there's any, you know, any of this stuff. Well, not silver. So what are the four things that will not absolutely react with hydrochloric acid? Copper, silver, mercury, and gold. You mix those four boys with hydrochloric acid, nothing's going to happen. All right. Does everybody see how this is working? Well, let me give you a couple to practice then, right? Who thinks that's neat? Anybody think this is neat yet? Not really. Okay. I'm talking to myself. Is it wonderful? Thank you. Sandy, yet once again, doesn't have to take the final. All right, here we go. So here's what we got. We've got ourselves a good old-fashioned piece of iron reacted with silver nitrate what would we get if anything? All right. Now, what would happen if we went the other way around? What if we took yourself a good old sterling piece of jewelry, which I turned to look at her. She doesn't wear sterling jewelry. And reacted that with something called iron 2 nitrate. 
what would happen then? Well, what would happen if I had myself a lead pipe? Name something that's in the water supply. Is magnesium in the water supply? Yeah. Okay. Let's say that there's a magnesium chloride in John's water supply. What would happen? But let's just say that John's house had a magnesium pipe, which would be stupid. He doesn't have a magnesium pipe. All right. And there was lead chloride in the water. How would that work for him? Okay. First off, let me ask you this. Is lead a good choice for a pipe? Because remember... Now wait just a minute. Time out. Remember, if something's going to react with lead, how's it going to be? It's going to be the ones below it, right? So, in a normal drinking water situation, which is where your pipe would be lead, is there gold in your drinking water? No. I mean, not a significant amount, right? You can find traces of almost anything in your drinking water. Is there a significant amount of mercury in drinking water? No. Significant amount of silver? Copper? Well, wow. So is lead a good choice? Yeah, lead was a good choice for pipes. It didn't react very much. All right. Now, lead was dangerous, okay, because water has H in it, right? So, what if your water was acidic and was not a perfect 7.0 pH? All right. So let's talk about that a minute. If you have pure water... The pH is 7.0. Well, what happens when you add bleach to water? Does the pH go up or down? pH goes down. Maybe to even a modest 6.8. So now you got yourself an acid, right? So what happens if you take lead and mix it with an acid? Is lead on top of hydrogen? Will it react? Yeah. And it's what's going to happen is that acid is going to chew up your lead pipe. And then you're going to drink it. And then it's going to get in your bloodstream. And then it's going to cause all this trouble, supposedly, right? This wasn't so far along, people. I mean, there could be lead pipe still in your home. So, there's lead pipe still in our home. Not all over, right? Our friend's a plumber, so he takes care of that. But uh, some of the drainage pipes he still left was lead. We tried to get some of the intakes. Anyway, looky here, iron and silver nitrate. Is iron a big enough boy to knock silver out of its spot? Iron has to be on top of silver, so it's going to work. Now, that's going to give us a what? An iron? Nitrate. Now, is it going to be an iron 2 nitrate or an iron 3 nitrate? You don't know? See, there's two options for iron, right? Now, I'm going to tell you a lie, and I'm going to say more about it. Use the smallest one. If there's two oxidation states, use the smallest. That's all your book says about it. It's a lie. There are ex exceptions, like copper. Copper 2 is most favorable. But you'll get that later. Use the smallest one. What do we got here? Silver. So what's a happening? Okay. Well, me and Cassandra is in the business of making cheap jewelry for people to wear. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to...